it can't be a realization. You've got to have you have no system of A stock. And so it's cash. She turns in her C stock this way, so obviously this bill is what? Here's a car company, here's a C company, no, no, whether whether if they join oh, the Soviet or not, it's no there in the market. They might do that, they might not do that. That may be one reason they're doing that. My reason they're doing this way is they want to maintain T as a separate company. It has things that are valuable that will be lost if you do the other way, right? If you pay A company, pay cash to T for the best of T, step one, step two is you have the debt at the like chapter six, you have the after tax cash going to Martha. Well, first of all, the two levels of tax, but secondly, that's a problem because what? T's gone, right? T maybe that's the legal or the, maybe they have a lot of loans outstanding that says if you destroy T as a separate entity, all those loans come due. Or it's McDonald's franchise, you lose your McDonald's franchise. So there's a host of reasons why you want to keep T company lost. The other thing to think about, of course, here is what? T's not involved, right? T's not going to have any tax consequences. All T's assets, inside bases, NOLs, 